How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, today's Ramble. Today's video is going to keep us very, very quick. And uh, by the way, less of the comments about me every time I say I'm going to keep it quick and I talk for about 8 minutes, 10 minutes. You know, that's quick. Some people have hour long videos on, but you're right. Okay, look, I'm talking again. So I'm going to try to keep this as quick as possible. Um, a couple of weeks back there, I was contacted by a gentleman who follows me on Facebook and he's asked me, and I said, so privileged as this here has happened, he's asked me could I copy some old negatives. Now, basically, the negatives were found in a loft, and the photographs is actually of his uh, his his partner's grandmother and probably grandfather. I'm assuming. I think it's just going to be fantastic. So he contacted me anyway and said, "Could I copy them?" So I've had a look at them. Absolutely amazing. Now the envelope that they've came in is from 1964. Um, could you imagine that? Like, so um, they are either taken in the 60s or possibly even earlier because obviously the the photographs could have been taken in the 50s. Great style. Um, I had a look at them. I have copied them. Uh, give me kind permission to go ahead. I'm going to use one of the photographs rather than going through them. Now, the way I copied them, there's different ways you can copy negatives. Obviously, if you have a good quality negative scanner, it's going to take 120 uh, film. Do you know, that would be the best. Then you could use a flatbed scanner if you wanted to. Or I'm old school. Now, old school, we used to obviously have a slide copier and you attach it to a 35mm camera put the film into the camera and you duplicated the slides and things like that. So this is not going to work, obviously, because you see, these are 120 negatives. But what I did do was I put them onto the light box and I say, just behind the camera there, I've built a rig and you've probably seen it when I've been doing the unboxing uh, video. So I built this uh, wee unit that was based on Casey Nice, that's one. So there you go, me and Casey. Um, first name terms and all that jazz. So when I built this here, so I use it for the unboxing, but I also use it for duplicating photographs and slides and negatives for people. Now I've got a negative scanner, it can go up to 35 mil, but for anything larger than that, what I do is I put the negative uh, on top of the light box. And so what I could do is I could either shoot straight through the lens or I could put like wee 2X or 3X magnifiers onto the lens and then take the photographs that way. And that's what I did with this one. Uh, point of warning, when you are copying photographs, this, or sorry, copying negatives this way, uh, because obviously there's a lot of heat coming from the light box, you don't want to keep it on there for too long because it's going to start to bow. It's not going to damage the negative at all, but really it just stops it bowing. Now you could put non-reflective glass over the top of it. That'll keep it pressure down. But in this occasion, it didn't need to. I was very fortunate it was able to get straight in there and copy them. Then I put them through Lightroom, give them a wee light tweak, and, and then that was it. Happy days, you know, and such a pleasure to be part, to see these photographs becoming, uh, coming to light, so to speak. So there you go. Guys, look, I can't stress how important this is for me because, you know, the motto that I created there was we're capturing the present so those in the future can look back at the past. And why I say that these photographs here really reinforce that. Because although them photographs were taken, maybe in the 50s, early 60s, the fact of the matter is that, you know, when they took them photographs, it was for that moment. But did they really know that, what, in 60 odd years time, that we'd be discussing it, and more importantly, that the granddaughter and even her father will be getting to see these photographs for the very first time. That's amazing, isn't it? So get out there, take photographs, uh, look after the old negatives, Go tell your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, see if they've got any old photographs or negatives just lying in the cupboard. Because sadly, when people pass over, normally people just dump them all out. And I think that's part of not only the family history, but the social history of the area. So get out there, have a look around, check your relatives, see if you have any negatives. And more importantly, ask them it's about the photographs, document it, maybe make a wee video about it, you know, or document it with your camera. Take some photographs, maybe get them to hold up a photograph of them as when they were younger, talking about it, reminiscing. I don't know about you, I'm really passionate about that. So there you go, guys. Listen, I'm sending you love from Belfast. Thank you all so much for your love and support on this channel. I really, really appreciate you taking time out to do this and to watch it and to support me here. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So guys, have a fantastic day, fantastic weekend, fantastic week ahead. Whenever you get seeing this, know that I'm sending you love from Belfast. And I'll see you in the next video.